Welcome to this edition of Founder Thought. So today we're going to be talking about remote work. It's something that everybody's talking about, right? So all these big tech companies now are switching back to get people back into the office. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening. Um, really, I just wanted to have a discussion because we talk about it all the time, but I think it's something that is on everyone's mind, right? So is is remote work going away? Is it is it a complete failure? Is like what what's happening with it? Why it, why is that why is that like reversal happening with companies? You see, that's why I think I think a lot of companies where they have a great system, they can work with it mm -hmm. because we deal with a lot of clients. They have a great system for remote uh, remote. It work for them. Yeah. If, uh, if you have the system and you know what exactly it is and what the people, yeah. it work for them. Different company, for example, for us, how what uh, 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 remote work? Oh, it's yeah. very uh, challenge. It's yeah. very challenge because we have a lot of cooperation. We have to talk we have yeah. to develop we have we have a lot of coverage so it's a challenge but if we have a system i would say never say never for anything mm -hmm. because i think we should have a system where we have a more uh, like we have capabilities in the office to have like yeah. one or two days a week to do it work yeah it, but it, why is it that all these tech companies are now changing right because they were like everybody's remote obviously it was during the pandemic because obviously productivity it's a drop yeah uh, goal is not moving the right direction yeah. uh, people are not having communication enough Maybe and there's like not enough accountability. Accountability. When people are not there. And yeah. that was the thing. Also, people actually like. I was watching actually for more a few weeks ago. Or somebody like they talking about working room. Actually, it's affecting the mentality of especially guys, young guys. Yeah. I mean, actually, it's oh yeah. I and mean, if you're home all the time and you're not engaging with people on a regular basis and having like yeah. adult conversations with people face to face, like I can imagine, like I would be depressed. Yeah, <laughs> like, like why? You come to work I, every day. Example, for example, for me, I feel my time coming from uh, walking to the office. I walking. I feel this my time like the yeah. fresh. To, uh, be inspired uh, to think, to yeah. clear my mind, and then when I go home, uh, uh, like this my time, like this my time. This why yeah. I like to walk uh, back and forth. But, but I understand also the other side of it, yeah. where people saying, okay, you know what? If I am productive at the home, if I have a system in place, if like all these Monday system, all mm -hmm. these stuff like you implement, and we, and we have all these system, but still is not hundred percent effective not 100%, for us. Yeah. But all. If you if you say I'm working at home, I'm very effective. I can do my job done. And this this this, I see the uh, I see the uh, the arguments there. And, and I think the best plan is for company is not given like uh, because w last week we had a meeting with somebody in the company here, and he worked remote uh, remote. Mm -hmm. But uh, what he we communicate with him, he said like when we tried to do five times a week, did yeah. not happen, did not mm -hmm. work. Uh, because they're not uh, nobody could hold anybody accountability. Discussions yeah. not happening. People start taking some people start taking every advantage of it mm -hmm. uh, because remember, not every person will take it like a charge. Not yeah. everybody a leader. Not everybody yeah. wants to do this stuff. Not I everybody. Think that's true. I think a lot of people probably struggle with it too because they have very high intentions of being productive and being you know being focused and being there at their computer, but it's distracting. Like I, for me personally, I can't work at home for long periods of time because I'm like in the fridge. I'm like checking the news. I'm like like, you know, so for me, I have to be in an office setting because when I know when I'm in the office, the only time I get up is if I'm going to like grab a cup of coffee or something, but I'm there either in a meeting or I'm being productive at my computer. When I'm at home, it's like, oh, like it's a distraction yeah, so to me. And that's me. He said. he said five days was bad. Now mm -hmm. we, they have the balance. Four days working from uh, office and one day work from home. And then yeah. he said, this is a great balance. Yeah. We move in much better. The productivity much better. The, yeah. uh, the, uh, what we're doing, it's amazing. Yeah. And they have their own system how they do it so every day we in the early morning then we mm -hmm. check at, at 12 o'clock check at 2 o'clock then we close so if you have a system great mm -hmm. so I think I see the argument for both but now all the big company tech company closing the door and people walking around yeah. from Disney to Amazon to, to everybody telling people you need to come back to the office yeah. to work from office and I think that that's probably I don't know I'm just estimating guesstimating but I would imagine that it's probably because businesses aren't getting enough productivity yeah. and so like you're investing money in people and in resources that are just like like office resources and stuff like that they're not being used equipment's not being used um people are maybe not getting like maybe a lot of the work is not getting done and so what's happening is they're investing in all these things and they're not getting a return on it because of that so I can see how in some situations that these big tech companies are 
you know, they're getting hurt by it. So yeah. they want people in there to control it a little bit better. So I think what's the best yeah. way, I think they need to have the balance. Yeah, of course. Like, I don't think it should go away there's all not the way. A, there's not a right or wrong answer uh, yes. to it. I think it depends on the company, a lot of system, things. Yeah, the culture of the company, the, team. the people, the the brand itself, um, the situation. It's a, yes, it's all it's stuff there. Like, yeah. Because we work with our company with a fully remote, and mm -hmm. they grow massively, and they never have an office. Yeah. It's depend like it depend it depend so yeah. it depend how you do it it depend what the way you want to do it uh, it yeah. depend uh, it depend the way you do it we are we like so it, it, it's not it's not one this answer wrong or this answer right you need to find you but yeah. now what I would tell you all these tech company big companies they come in here pushing hard in this for some reason. Why? Yeah. This means productivity coming down, the work is not going to be done. Uh, 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 Something's uh, happening. Something's clearly. happening. This yeah. why they pushing harder. Now they yeah. tell people you have to be four days at least or four hours in the office, then you tell you work one, work from home, work from home. Mm -hmm. But you have to be at least four hours in the office. So it's coming back now. Yeah. So we see how it goes. We yeah. see how the action. I'm sure they're going to have our system come in the future to make it easy for people to work from home, to realize mm -hmm. it's working from home. But I think you need to have the balance. I really think yeah, you need to have absolutely. the balance. Well, if you have an opinion on remote work and how your company is doing it, please do leave us a comment. We'd love to hear it. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys.